Continuing on the custom card review stream, we're going to be talking about a Raditz into a Nappa into a Vegeta. Okay, interesting. And it's coming from Amiibo. Uh, but before I go ahead and read Amiibo's cards, send me custom cards over to VSM Custom Cards at gmail.com to get to your custom card as soon as possible. While I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way, you guys already know the gist. Uh, so, uh, let's see. There's no message for the email. Uh, Amiibo puts inside the title. Here's another sequel to the last would be the other LR with uh, Kyle Ken Goku. I think he made like the little Kyle Ken Goku card, right? Uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. Uh, Amiibo is known for making some pretty busted cards, even though we looked at another one from him, like in, from like the past, I think two days ago, where it was a pretty tame card. Yeah. So, um, Raditz into Nappa into Vegeta. Leader skill is Pure Saiyans, Terrifying Conquerors, or Inhuman D3 King, 170% across the board. Any 30% of the stats is two. Space Traveling Warriors, Saiyan Saga, or Extreme Class Category or Type. Okay, and on the 200% Leader Skill see what we got to start from the bottom. We do have the Super Easy A Full Power Frieza. Um, nothing more here to note at the bottom because these are just some old ass easy A's slash just TRs to specific cards. Well, that being LRs and some being just SSRs at the bottom. Um, who else do we have here? A bunch of old cards. Um, we just keep moving up top. Yeah, still a bunch of just, uh, just outdated cards for today's meta. I mean, King Vegeta granted in the right circumstance, sure could be solid. Um, we do have uh, Frieza, who can definitely be helped by this Raditz into Nappa and into Vegeta. Um, Dodoria, in the right circumstance, I don't remember exactly what he does. So, actually, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to be a little bit standoffish on that one. I don't remember exactly what this guy does. Um, Kui could be actually pretty solid, of course, because he has that dodge. Um, get count LR. <laughs> I'm about to say LR Captain Ginyu. Um, LR Ginyu Force. Um, I mean, granted, of course, them in the right circumstance, they're a very powerful LR. But then, like, we look at the rest of this, these, these LRs. It's like everybody outside of uh, Ginyu is just fodder, right? It's like Baby. Eh. Baby, doesn't Baby have to reverse a specific enemy and he's just raw defense, if I remember correctly? Yeah. Um, and then everybody else is just... Well, Turles, excuse me. I completely overlooked Turles. It's like Turles, Baby, um granted that being up against a specific boss and then we have like maybe nap and vegeta no hell no hell no it's just like turles and then ginyu and then that is it yeah i can't believe i overlooked the goat lr team turles why can i why can i overlook that that's just crazy of me so rad is passive cowards search activates uh intro upon characters yeah it's in like red on like a dark page so i just wanted to highlight it so accurate intro upon characters entry turn of course once only and he has a 60 percent chance to dodge with 90 percent defense no that's 90 percent attack and defense for six turns okay and 11 key and 150 percent attack and a 40 percent chance to dodge just baseline and he gets a baseline 40 percent chance to crit and when facing a uh Earthbred Fighters category enemy, because that's his warrior's raised on Earth. While facing a Earthbred Fighters category enemy, he performs a guaranteed crit, makes sense, and has also an additional 40% chance to dodge and 100% attack and defense, as well as 120% attack and defense while performing a super attack, nice, and performs an additional super attack of facing a super class enemy. So, granted, in the right circumstances, this card can get up to what's that? Of course, within the first six turns, you get 90% attack and defense, as well as an additional 60% chance to dodge. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, no, that, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this card is guaranteed dodging for six turns. Unless that is a separate proc, this card has guaranteed dodge for six turns. Yes, because it says plus 60% chance to dodge for the first six turns. And then he has that baseline 40% chance to dodge. So uh, it's not specified, but this card either has a guaranteed chance to dodge for six turns. And after that six turn, he has a what's that? He'll have up to a 80% chance to dodge, considering like you're going up against a Earthbed Fighters character. Um, yeah, either this card has guaranteed dodge for six turns, and then after those six turns are up, this card will have up to an 80% chance to dodge, which is pretty bananas. Or if those dodge procs are separate. But even if then, if those dodge procs are separate, then that means he has a separate 80% chance to dodge and a separate 60% chance to dodge. He, this card cannot lose. No matter what way you would like to point it out at, this card is strong on in, in whatever perspective you want to look at. Whether he has the guaranteed dodge for six turns as well as that 80% chance to dodge after those six turns. Or if you want to say that this card has two separate dodge procs, it's going to be this card's going to be strong regardless because he already has a 60% chance to dodge here and an 80% chance to dodge right over here. Crazy. Um, and he can get up to what's that? 
he can get a, a baseline 40% chance of crit as well as guaranteed crits. Um, that's granted you're not going up against a Earthbred Fighter character, but you're definitely going to want to go up against Earthbred Fighter character for sure for that uh, that dodge. Absolutely. Uh, attack and defensive buff from his... Let me see his super attack effects. Yeah. 30% attack and defense one turn, as well as raising extreme class allies uh, defense by 20% for his 12 key. And uh, the 18 key just greatly stacks attack and defense and raises extreme class allies attack and defense by 40% for, I'm going to assume, one turn. Yeah. Um. So, uh, Raditz, uh, dodge. Um. What's that? Yeah. Dodge. Dodge is like the core defensive mechanic this card has. Yeah. As well as being able to do either guaranteed crits or have a 40% chance to crit while having an attack and defense above from his passing to a super attack effects, being able to greatly stack attack and defense size so 18 key. Um, Rad is looking good. Yeah, mostly because of the dodge. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just strong because of the dodge and then the support that he's giving within the turn. Absolutely. Those link set, uh, the same lineage, same warrior race, brutal beat down, nightmare, prepare for battle, fierce battle, legendary power. Okay, yeah, Rad is looking good. Yeah. Uh, does he have enough stats to suffice? Like, he does have 150% attack and defense over here, 100% attack and defense over here, grants you're facing the right category enemy, and 120% attack and defense performing super attack, and as well as 90% attack and defense for six turns, as well as a 60% chance to dodge. Um, yeah, strong. Uh, yeah. Raditz looks good. Because of that dodge. Uh, standby skill can be activated when HP is 70% or less, or after the character performs three or more attacks in battle ones only. Standby for four turns, and of course, the low charge count thing. Alright, so Nappa. What's Nappa doing inside the standby? Nappa's passive brute strength. 500% defense and 80% damage reduction. Nothing is killing this guy. Nullifies all attacks received. Okay, so literally nothing can hurt him. Unable to attack. Makes sense. And he gives extreme class allies 5 key and 40% attack and defense. Nice support. And he is a STR orb changer, of course, randomly, that being to every other orb except STR excluded. And plus one key per STR key, so you're obtained for the little key charge for the little standby. And what links change? I don't think any links change. Same lineage, same lineage. Uh, same wear race, the same thing. Brutal beat down, the same thing. Uh, so Nightmare replaces Tough as Nails. Yeah. It is replaced for tough as nails. That's what Nightmare is replaced for. Okay. That's something like they changes. All right. Uh, Nappa, 500% defense, 80% damage reduction, nullifies all attacks directed at him. Uh, can't attack, of course, because it's a standby character. Support, um, orb changing so that you can get your standby off faster. So, yeah, orb changing and get your standby off faster. Uh, damage reduction, unable to take damage at all. Strong. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, unfinished, uh, the ability, uncharged finish skill excuse me uh stays as nappa permanently uh, which is still very good um you could be napka you nappa if you want i said napka oh my god <laughs> yo it's so real that i keep all my mess ups in the video it's it's okay though but yeah you stay as a uh, nappa for the uncharged finish skill which is still fine because nappa is a very strong defensive option and then for vegeta of course it's just it's just going to vegeta so uh, Vegeta, I like to assume that he's going to be a god. So, Vegeta, let's see what we got here. So, strength of the Saiyan Elite. All right. So, 18 key, 500% attack, defense, and guards. All right. 80% damage reduction. Guarantee crits, 111% attack and defense when performing a super attack. And when facing an Earthbred Fighters category enemy or super class category enemy, uh, well, not a category enemy, a super class enemy, uh, performs four additional supers. Ridiculous. He gives extreme class allies four key and 77% attack and defense, survives KO hits and, well, KO attacks, but same thing. KO attacks and targets all attacks to self when surviving KO attacks and dodges all attacks for one turn. Um, let me tell you guys something. This card is not dying to anything. Guard with 80% damage reduction, he's not dying to nothing in the game. Nothing is killing him. Yeah. Um, and he recovers 80% HP when... When after targeting all attacks middle of the turn, okay, and 300% attack when performing an 18 key super. Whew, all right. Um, what do we have here? And then super attack effects is 12 key, uh, greatly stacks attack and defense, and greatly lowers attack and defense. So, obviously, strong. And it's 18 key, massively stacks attack and defense, does ultimate damage to enemy. That's a active skill uh, modifier for damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. Um, so the same lineage does stay. 
uh big bad bosses is now put into links at four specifically only vegeta uh brutal beat down stays throughout uh royal lineage is given for vegeta and prepare for battle fierce battle legendary power stay categories saiyan saga pure saiyans gifted warriors space traveling warriors dragon ball seekers terrifying conquerors inhuman deeds planetary destruction accelerated battle and battle of fate so uh class um as we've learned with amiibo's very busted cards what do we have here we have very strong support we have this ability that's literally never going to activate because uh, um guess what vegeta's not he's not surviving like he's going to survive a ko attack clearly but nothing's going to ko him nothing's going to kill this guy so this is one of those cherry on the top abilities where it's just nice to have if a boss is like doing a brazilian damage um recovering hp uh surviving ko attacks and having it aggro onto him and getting a guaranteed dodge 300 percent attack for an 18 key super attack a uh, ridiculous support um four plus supers considering the fact that this guy is greatly stacking attack and defense and attack debuff an enemy an attack and defensive buff must pass to a super attack that guaranteed crits 80 percent damage reduction guard 500 percent attack and defense 18 key just for free so he's gonna always get this 300 percent attack off strong this card has it all just just about almost everything it's just missing like a couple things like orb changing and nuking but this card does not need that at all so uh vegeta is literally a god a stacking god yes uh nappa is a wall that cannot be knocked down all right and then radis is a dodging machine to sum up all these cards so um that is all uh this card is ridiculously strong um in in the fashion of course shout out to amiibo amiibo of course does not hold back on these cards and i hey i commend him for for sure because these are custom cards and it makes sense if you make a broken custom card whether you go dokkan est or if you just go like uh go with a really broken design it really don't really matter so yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys the best send me custom cards over to bhdev custom cards at gmail.com so i get to your custom card as soon as possible but i'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way man oh man oh my god like recording these double upload videos i'm not gonna lie to you guys it has been exhausting but nonetheless i made a promise I got to go ahead and read you guys' custom cards. And of course, I'm not going to back down, right? Absolutely. I want to read these custom cards because, of course, if I didn't, why would I make YouTube videos, right? It's just a, it's just, it's just a passion, of course. So uh, leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and that's going to be all. And join the 24-7 Discord server. Link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. I hit my mic. Oh, my God. Peace.